Hey, 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 let's get into this, let's get into this. Hope everyone is having a good Monday. Um, my Monday is going all right. Um, can't complain, you know, God is good. But let's get into this, okay? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified, um, yeah, when your girl posts, okay? But let's get into it right quick uh, while I have some downtime. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So, he was accused in the Barbados. Um, she had got a visa. She got her kids there. She, they had a realtor. Um, she met a friend that helped her name, Anita. Um, okay, congratulations to them, you know. But to me, it seemed like that, um, let me just, happy for, you know, I hope everything worked out for her, you know what I'm saying? Even though, um, uh, not saying it won't, because, you know, I can't predict the future, but I do have discernment, and my discernment is telling me that, you know, yeah, it's going to, you know, that relationship is going to last for a while, you know. But it it just seemed like she's doing all the groundwork for him, for her and her husband to be together. Not trying to say that he's not doing any helping or nothing like that, all they have, because I don't know, because I don't, I'm not in a relationship. But from what I'm seeing from her and all this posting, right, before she left, she was posting a lot, okay? She was posting a lot, and, um, yeah, she was posting a lot. So, to me, it seems to me, though, that she was trying to, you know, gain up, get all the money together, get all the money together, get all the money together. And she was posting a lot and, um, you know, saving up money and stuff like that. For the um, for the move, you know what I'm saying? And it don't seem like he was doing too much or nothing to me. You don't seem like he was really doing any helping. And I'm trying to say that he wasn't helping because we don't know what they discussed. Because, you know, I'm not on the phone with them. I'm not in a, uh, on the phone. I'm not in their house. I'm not in her phone. You know, I don't really know. But um, to me, it seemed like she did all the groundwork for him to, for them to move, which is understandable. There's a lot of women, you know, pick the home and buy the, you know, pick out what they want to live and stuff like that. But it just seemed like to me that he's like a kept man. You know, what, what is he going to be doing besides YouTube with you? I mean, I know you say you have some, I don't know, you never discuss, because you don't have to discuss what type of work the man do. Um, but uh, yeah, I did, people did say that he have some kind of, he have a job, he got a career or whatever. Um, I never heard nothing about it, unless I missed that part, what she was saying, because y'all eat with Q fans, y'all be on it, you know, so y'all feel me in on um, if he has uh, what kind of, I don't know, what type of profession he is, or what type of work he do in Africa to be able to do it in Barbados as well. That's what they say that she's at, okay? Um, it just seemed to me that he's like a kept man, and she just rushed all this together just to... And I understand, like, I've been watching Cuse from the beginning. Like, I've been watching Beloved from the beginning. So I've been watching for a long time before I even started doing commentary on what I see on here. Um, and this is what this is. This is a commentary channel and get my opinion. If you don't like people giving their opinion on commentary channel, don't click on my video. It's a waste of time to even click on it if you don't like people talking about people that you um, support and fans of, Okay. Um, um, I don't have no problem with EQ or anybody that I talk about. It's just commentary. is my opinion. Just like if people, like girlfriends get together on, and go out to eat and talk about people. It's the same thing. That don't mean that you don't care for the person. It just means like it's just calling out what I see in my opinion is BS, okay? So this is what I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, so it seems like he's a kept man to me. It seems like he's a kept man. Um, it seems like she's doing everything. And what is he? Okay, they're going to be doing back on the Fez Marisma channel. We're going to see how that's going to come pan out when he get there. He's not there yet. He's still in Africa. Uh, she seems like she's there by herself to me. Uh, from what I'm looking at, she said he haven't got there yet. He'll be there soon. Um, yeah, we'll see how soon. Um because that's, re that's the reason when she's going to come back on. You know she's going to come with a video saying he there. But I want to see how active he is going to be on the channel since they moving in together. And they got that couple's channel. We'll see how active he be on his, on that Fizz Marisma channel. And we'll see how active Ewa Q going to be now on her channel since she had the foot. Seem like most of the, the, the load, uh, as you would say. Uh, the bills, okay, because that's what it seems like is going on here, and I know uh, all African men are not alike, like all American men are not alike, not like all black men ain't alike, like all Caucasian men ain't alike, like all Mexican men ain't alike, I can, the list goes on and on, I know that they not, everybody is different in their own way, 
Um, but, but I know that a lot of African men like to be in control, um, like to tell they women what to do. Um, some don't want to, uh, some take care of their women, but some of them want to be taken care of, just like, you know, and it seems like they like to be controlled and dictate what the hell going on, but try to pacify you by catering to you and rubbing your feet and rubbing your back and all that to justify the BS that they put you through. Um, yeah, because I know my sister have dated an African before. My grandmother was married to one that didn't last long because they try to control and manipulate. But anyway, on that note, not seeing American men on either. But yeah, they, they just do a lot of underhanded stuff. You know what I'm saying? They really, they really, really, really different from American men, and anybody that say they ain't, um, don't know what they talking about, but anyway, on that note, I wish her the best of luck, and, you know, on her journey, and then another thing, I love the Lord, I love God, I grew up in church, and I still, you know, I listen to my God's my pray every day, but, and she'd have, on her channel, she have talked about him, talked about the Lord a lot, uh, on her channel, she always mentioned it, so I'm not going to say that she just started now, because I've been watching her from the beginning. I get people credit when it's credit is due, but since she been with this African, she really been doing too much. She really been going overboard. Not saying there's nothing wrong with going showing love to the Lord or nothing, but it's just like she's trying to pacify over something to cover up some bull crap by using God's name just to do it. To me, that's what I that would have seen to me. Hey. Because she doing it too. She, I mean, she talked about it, you know, in her old videos when she was with white with the white dude Steve. What's his name? Was Steven? I forgot his boy name. That dude. <laughs> I forget that dude name. Um, you know what it is. She talked about you know God a little bit, but she didn't do it like overboard. Like she overkilling it, just to justify all the stuff that she has been doing as of late. Um, yeah, they really come off like. Okay, God is good. We, yeah, a lot of people know that. It's like you're just trying to shove it, you know, to cover up and justify all the stuff that you are doing and try to tell everybody else that they can do the same thing. Everybody's life journey is different. So I don't understand why you're trying to tell everybody they can do the same thing. But anyway, on that note, y'all see y'all in the <laughs> It is really crazy to me, but either way, that's my take on Ewa Q in this move. I'll be keeping an eye on her to see what else transpire, or if it take her a long time to come back on here, or it take her a long time for him to get there since she didn't move. And now he he have plenty of time. He didn't have plenty of time to get situated to be able to move now. It shouldn't take no six eight more months to see this man at the house, okay? But anyway, on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.